Hey, 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 the skirt the heading out into the water. Better clean my screen. There. <laughs> anyway, there it is. SMU Smoke Your Craft or Save Your Craft 20227 IO21. It's a 2021. I'm gonna put in about maybe 45 gallons of non-ethanol. He's got a reverse G3 tubing. You got a reverse there with the cut down there. If you look up under there, that keeps it stable from going left and right. So a very stable boat, plus it creates an air chamber. So when it's coming down, it comes down slow instead of just banging down on you. This 22 is my favorite. I mean, for rough water, just a fun, fun, fun boat, especially with this 300. Got a 15 on it, I believe, 17, 15. 15 diameter, you can tell how big that is, stainless steel. Uh, it's a V6. You got zinc internal, every cylinder block, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft. Uh, two coats of clear, two coats of special primer in the main paint. Same thing with the kicker, only on two cylinders. Uh, on the zincs block, you got the active three and one transducer, so you got down side view. Uh, got all your drain plugs in there, you got four of them. Uh, that's a chamber, the other one's a chamber, the other one's a front chamber, the one there's your main drain on your floor. You got Lenco trim tabs, you really don't need them, but hey, they're there. Uh, it got the trim limiter so you don't trim too much to hit the cowling on the back. Two step dive ladder. You got four four by four bunks with slicks. Load guides, tandem, it would make it really easy to load. One person piece of cake on his boat. He also has got a kicker, a 9.9 remote, which is right here. Uh, so this, like I say, you can, in heavy wind, I bet you I could keep between that auto bow mount and that kicker just in gear, I could keep this thing going west or east with a 20 mile an hour north wind, but that thing on autopilot up to about 10 and then that one just in gear should keep it just in line. And it got the strakes, the lifting strakes, I actually call them tracking trakes, but they call them lifting for lift. Okay, you got the full pilot house, the backdrop curtain, you got your uh, GPS antenna, you got your Simrad up there, you got your trumpet horn, VHF antenna, Minnesota self-deploy, uh, what is it, 24 volt, 36 volt system, I think, on this. And this here is for an adapter. You can get an adapter uh, that runs up into your displays. Uh, some, some of these, you gotta watch which brand you get, like Motor Guide, Minnesota, if they all are compatible to the unit. <clears throat> okay, you also got the pre-flex tubing. You'll see how it's bent. Gives it even more strength, anchor pulpit, with the anchor that actually, they did it the right way with electric winch on it. You got the chain and rope that tilts down. You don't want them going like this, because if they tilt, they'll drop the anchor by themselves. Spare tire carrier, two speed, I love those. Those are cast. Pull that handle out right here where it's at that gives you the ultra low speed safety chain double dip galvanized heavy duty trailer keel roller again they're both keel does not rest on that that's just if you maybe got the trailer too deep you got the foot jack i like those they don't go anywhere you should still block the wheel it's a two inch ball with the peekaboo hole right there standard flip top mount coupler so from the ground to the top of your ball would be about 20 22 inches and that way you know if you're on top of the ball you got chains flat five on the trailer wire I uh, checked your brake fluid. This has got to be pulled out. You can say backing or remove cap, and there's a cap there. You flip up to check your brake fluid. Or say you need a backup. This again, when you're down here, I can show you a bunch of different ways to do that. You got cleats everywhere. You got your bow mount stop there. Just make sure when you deploy this thing back down again that uh, this thing's free. It's not up there where to, to jam down because it can stick. Like on this, will slide and it'll rub on that rubber. Just puts a little bit more wear on that motor. And that motor will not run or do anything until it's deployed. Uh, you got your Simrad, that's a good radar. Gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad. Uh, they're Carlisle's, 50 pound tire pressure, ST215, 75R14, 80 pounds on the lug nuts. Uh, and if you do ever change your gear oil, if they turn, if they're black, change it. But if you see a little like white like that in there, but like maybe a coffee with a creamer white, then you got a seal going out on that. Sometimes the front tire may look a little lower. It depends on how it's tilted. Because now I've got a lot of weight shifted towards the front. <clears throat> okay, everything looks good. I don't see anything too terribly wrong. There's your gas vent here. 
So I'm going to speed this up. This pump is slower and slower. You got to wait like 10 seconds. Now there you go. That's speeding up. So now I got to get that and stop it somehow with my finger. There you go. Uh, gear bath oil looks good. So everything's good to go. So I will see you on part two on the water. This is the boat doctor. And I'm going to drop the mic. Okay, ready? One, two, three.